One of the themes in this film is adventure. And every character in the film feels like they need to go on an adventure. They're coming! Pete said, I want to make the greatest action adventure sequence we could possibly do. Chasing through these unbelievable underground caverns, it's out of this world. Made even cooler by this pack of talking dogs. Dog pack's pretty singular focused on being henchmen for months. Stay! Charles Mutz is the famous explorer extraordinaire who has basically cut all ties. The only thing he has any sort of real contact with is his dogs. And he's developed these collars which allow the dogs to talk. I smell chocolate! I'm getting denture cream! He's alpha, beta, gamma, omega. <laughs> Alpha thinks of himself as Clint Eastwood. In his mind, his voice is something like, soon enough the bird shall be ours yet again. But his collar is defective. Soon enough the bird will be ours yet again. Your voice sounds funny! <laughs> Where's the bird? Uh, come back tomorrow, and then I will again have the bird, yes. What we've done in this film is to really try to think like a dog. Hey! What's fun about the dogs is that their thoughts betray them. They try to be tough, but then they hear the word treat. It's a pleasure to have guests. A real treat. Treat! treat, treat, treat. No, 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 treat. <laughs> the pack of dogs are really the force of months. Get them. So as Carl's trying to rescue Russell, Munts and his dogs come at him full force with the dirigible. And Carl's got to fight these guys off and protect this poor kid and somehow also rescue the bird. So it's just, this whole movie sounds insane, doesn't it? And it is. There you go, big fella. Thank you, master. I liked his other voice.